Hey, today we have Katrina Epps. She's a nurse and she is an incredible educator of all things Young Living. Today she's going to talk about the Young Living lifestyle and how you can get started using essential oils, supplements, and all things health and wellness products. I hope you love it. This Enjoy. This is Katrina Epps. For those of you guys that don't know me, um, I am so thrilled that you're here. I'm honored to be able to get you this information. Um, for those of you guys that know some of us, we are Young Living snobs and I'm going to tell you exactly the reason why and I'm so excited to do this. First off, I want to make sure that you understand that I am not a doctor. I'm not here to diagnose, treat, prevent, or cure any illnesses, and nothing that I say has been evaluated by the FDA. If you are concerned about health concerns, make sure that you check with your doctor before using any of this, because we are not qualified to discuss any of that as, as it relates to any disease processes. So as Amy mentioned, we do have a few other helpers on here. We wanna make sure that this is as much of a live interaction as possible. And so if you do have questions as I'm going on, do not hesitate to type them into the chat. First off, what in the world is an essential oil? Why are we here? Why are we here to learn, okay? And um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Valor because you're gonna, we're gonna talk about using our essential oils in this way, but I'm just gonna put a drop in my hand and I'm gonna rub it into my hands. I'm not going crazy and I'm just gonna deep inhale. All right, Valor is one of my all time favorite oils. The constituents in Valor, it is a blend, is just really, really good at grounding and focusing me. And so I'm using deep inhalation to get it in through my system. All right, so what is an essential oil? What is, what is so special about these little boogers right here, all right? An essential oil is basically nature's living energy. It is the lifeblood of the plants. Um, it basically carries nutrients, oxygen, and protects a plant from disease and pathogens. And it does virtually the same thing for us. God created plants on day three, um, and we have a beautiful relationship with plants. Actually, we can't survive without them, and they can't survive without us. And so essential oils basically what they do with their phytoconstituents is they support every cell at the cellular level. They're gonna go in, they're tiny, tiny little constituents in the, in the essential oil, and it's those constituents, they're called phytoconstituents, that actually elicit the physical, the mental, emotional, spiritual response that you get when you use an essential oil. And you guys are gonna have to, excuse me, I have my notes right here, but I can't see them without my glasses on, all right? So um, they are natural aromatic liquids containing the natural smell and characteristics of the plant themselves. Basically, they're full of hundreds of phytoconstituents. Nothing special, nothing added to it. It's the phytoconstituents in the plant that has been removed either through steam distillation, cold pressing, resin tapping, or absolute oil extraction. That's actually how you get your essential oil from the plant into this bottle, okay? Um, a couple facts about that. It takes about 5,000 pounds of rose petals to make one pound or two cups of oil. It takes 6,000 pounds of Melissa to make two cups of oil. And it takes 27 square feet of lavender to make one 15 milliliter bottle of lavender. And so that's where a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, these things appear so costly. But because Young Living's essential oils are so concentrated and so pure, you really only need one to two drops to really elicit any of those responses from your body. And so they can be quite cost effective. All right, so basically it brings us to purity. Why Young Living, okay? Um, and I am going to make a disclaimer right here that the way that I suggest that you use essential oils, I'm only talking about Young Living essential oils. I made reference at the beginning that those of us that know um, and have done our homework, we're Young Living snobs. And there's a reason for that. Um, young Living is the highest grade of essential oils. We have what is called a seed to seal guarantee. If you have never heard of that, I encourage you to Google it or to YouTube it because there's a ton of information about uh, the care and the quality of how Young Living, not only from the very beginning, from how we extract the seeds from the plants, 
all the way through the distillation and the distributing of the essential oil. The care that is taken into making sure that what you get in this essential oil is 100% pure, 100% therapeutic, and there is nothing else in it is absolutely, sometimes it can be quite irritating because we don't get an oil for a very long time because an oil hasn't passed a bunch of the tests that we need. And so they're not even willing to give us the leftovers. Um, it's that pure. And so I highly, highly encourage you to, if you are a skeptic as to why you can't just go buy your essential oils from Target, um, to do some homework, okay? So I want to just give you kind of an example of what, not necessarily Target, but whether you're going to go and buy your oils off Amazon or HEB or your general grocers. Um, in the United States, an essential oil only has to have 5% essential oil in it to be called 100% pure. And I just wanna give you an illustration of how that even works, okay? So let's say you go to HEB and you buy uh, an orange juice off the shelf and you come home and you take your glass and you pour about a fourth of a cup of orange juice in there. But you've got a lot of people that need orange juice. So you wanna add the rest of it water because you need it to go far, okay? It's still pure. It's still orange juice, but it's extremely watered down, okay? The next, next example, maybe you go to, let's say you go to HEB, and you, you wanna go ahead and get the, uh, the, the pressed orange juice, the fresh pressed right there, and you just get a big old vat, but you come home and there's now 25 people that you gotta give orange juice to. So you're gonna pour, okay, well, we'll give them each half of a glass of orange juice. And you know what? These people like to drink, so I'm gonna add the rest of vodka. Well, it's still pure, it's still therapeutic, and it's still orange juice. And then the next glass, you're actually gonna to go to Florida, and you're gonna pick your own oranges, and you're going to actually press them yourself, and you're gonna drink one whole glass of that delicious orange juice. And that is the difference between what a Young Living Essential Oil is and any other. The purity just cannot be beat. Other companies, they, um, they dilute them. They dilute them with other chemicals that can be considered pure, but they're still chemicals and you don't know what you're putting on, in, or around your body. And let's face it, we're doing this so that we can detoxify and simplify our life, not add more chemicals and toxins that we have absolutely no idea into our system. All right, so let's talk about how in the world you use your essential oils. So many people are like, okay, I got this bottle. What in the world do I do with it? There are many different ways that you can use your essential oils. The three most common are aromatically, through your sense of smell, topically, and internally, okay? We're gonna discuss some other ways as well, using them in your cleaning products and infusing them in your supplements and uh, the other products from Young Living. But aromatically is a phenomenal way to get your essential oils into your body. Your sense of smell is the only sense that we have that's directly linked to the limbic lobe of our brain. Right in the middle is your amygdala, that's your emotional control center of your brain, okay? So you can use your essential oils aromatically through direct inhalation, which is what you saw me do by putting a drop in your hand and just deep inhaling. You can actually just take your bottle and breathe it in, okay? And then the indirect inhalation is through a diffuser, okay? I've got my diffuser going here. When you use a diffuser, you're gonna use water. It's cold water, and then you add your essential oils to it. Oil and water don't mix, so the oil sits on top. And then there's an ultrasonic plate at the bottom that just sends out the essential oil through the vapors. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. And it's being dispersed throughout the room, and I am actually breathing it in. I have lemon and peppermint going in my diffuser because both of those are very, very conducive to focus and uh, memory recall. So obviously I'm diffusing that right now because I'm teaching a class, but they are great in the afternoon when you have that slump to diffuse it because you are actually breathing it in and you don't have to do anything else. Diffusing is a great option at nighttime when you're going to sleep, when you've got fussy kids, um, when you're trying to focus, when you're at work, when you need to clean the air. All of those are great options for indirect inhalation. Topically, Topically, you have to remember that your skin is your largest organ, okay? So whatever goes on your skin is actually absorbed into your system. So it really does matter what you're putting on your skin, but you can use your essential oils on your skin. You can use, put them on your wrist, on your neck, on your forearm, on your chest, 
basically anywhere that you need your essential oils, they can go on your skin. Now, this is somewhat where I need to mention a carrier oil, okay? Um, some oils can go on meat, meaning that you don't need a carrier, you can just put it directly on your skin. Peppermint, for some people, can be a little, um, we call it hot, but it's not like it's going to burn you. It, it, it can create a sensitivity. If that's the case, you want to use a carrier oil, which is any oil that has fat in it, whether that's olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, it doesn't matter. It's your preference. Young Living has their V6 oil, which is a blend of all different carrier oils, and you can mix it together and then it can go topically. You're gonna to use your oils topically for things that you need, whether that's discomfort, whether that's to support um, healthy hormone levels, whether that's to support a healthy digestive system, they're going to go topically on your skin. All right, internally, um, this is where I wanna talk about the Vitality line from Young Living. Young Living is the only company actually right now that has a full line of essential oils that are labeled for internal use. Um, the FDA doesn't do a whole lot of regulation on essential oils. That's how come you can go to the grocery store and you can get crap oils and think that you're getting good oils. But what they do say is that you cannot label an essential oil for topical and aromatic use and also say that you can use it internally. Okay, so you have to have a whole different line that and there they have the white labels. I got both of these for you. This is citrus fresh, which is a blend of essential oils. This one is labeled for aromatic and topical use and this one is labeled for internal use so when we are talking on a public setting we're going to need to say anytime you use your oils for supplementation it has to have a vitality label however they are the exact same oils okay that can be confusing it's not meant to be it is just an fda regulation so when i use my oils internally what would that even look like all right i have a glass of water right here it's in glass with a stainless steel straw. You need to remember that plastic is a petrochemical. Your essential oils are going to eat through toxins and a petrochemical is a toxin. So you wanna drink it in either stainless steel or glass, okay? And you're just gonna add it to your water. Okay, wait a second, how much do I add? It is completely personal preference, okay? If you want it really strong, add more. If you don't like it that strong, add less. Oil and water don't mix, so you just kinda of stir it and then you're going to get the benefit of your essential oils internally. You can also put them in capsules. Um, this is where it just becomes very empowering when you use your essential oils, um, taking them internally. Many people are very hesitant taking your, your oils internally, but you have to remember that once you take your oils internally, you subject them to digestive juices and your digestive juices can pretty much break up anything. When you put them on topically, there really is no barrier. And so do not be necessarily scared of taking them internally. And if you are, please talk to one of us a little bit more in depth so that we can help you get the research you need so that you are comfortable taking them. All right, then the next way that we use essential oils is cleaning in our home. All right, I have right here my Thieves detergent. It is already diluted. Um, Young Living's products are extremely concentrated and so they need dilution. And that is so that, it, number one, it's gonna save you money. Number two, it gets you into making your own products so that you can start to realize all of the nasty stuff that really is in the products that we use. So this is my cleaning. I have used an ounce of Thieves Cleaner in two cups of water. You can see that it's kind of brown. So Thieves is a blend. When you don't recognize the name of the essential oil as a plant, it is a blend from Young Living. And Gary Young's passion was taking individual essential oils, marrying them together so that their synergistic effects is that much greater. So lemon is in the blend of Thieves and citrus oils are what are going to grab onto the petrochemicals and plastic. I'm not drinking this, so I'm not concerned with it. But I clean my entire house with this bottle Actually, I don't, my house keeper, keeper does, but I just sprayed that on my skin and on my arms. I would have never done that with any other cleaner. That is how much comfort that you can have. So when you've got babies crawling around, you've got older parents coming over, you've just eaten something and you need to clean it up, you can spray that on right then and there. All right, infuse. Let's talk about Young Living's um, supplements that are infused with the essential oils. Basically, all that means is the science behind our supplements is all there, and then they go ahead and add essential oils to them. 
And what that does is increases the bioavailability of our supplements. If any of you guys have researched supplements, um, not many people do, I'm kind of a nerd like that. But the problem is, is we bombard our system with all of these fragmented nutrition that our body doesn't even know what to do with because it's not found in whole food sources. And so when you add essential oils to your supplements, your body can actually use it because it makes it more bioavailable at the cellular level. And so the supplements from Young Living, whether that's Omega Gize or Ningxia Red or our probiotic or our vitamin D are just that much higher of a level, not only because our board of scientists and all of our testing, but because they're infused with essential oils. And so you can pretty much change out any of the supplements that you're using that you're not, you know, that you're maybe getting off Amazon or the grocery store because you do not know what is in those supplements. All right, so what other products do Young Living, does Young Living have? Essential oils, as we've already discussed. Uh, there are so many individual essential oils from peppermint, which I think that's the only, in the, oh no, I have lemon here too, to lemon, to lavender, to frankincense, so many essential oils that we have to the blends that we have. And the blends, again, are just individual essential oils that have been married together to create blends. Um, and one thing I did forget to mention, as we're talking about essential oils, um, many people think like this is just this new wave thing, like something that we've, uh, that's all of a sudden come to light. I want to remind you guys that plants were created on day three. They are mentioned throughout history, whether it's the Egyptians, the, the Europeans, the Mid-Eastern culture. Uh, they can be found in hieroglyphics. They can be found in the Bible. Uh, there's a reference to essential oils over 118 times in the Bible, with, of course, the most famous reference to frankincense and myrrh that was presented to Jesus. But there is reference to cassia and spikenard, um, so many references. And so this is actually nothing new. It's just kind of come back around as we're realizing that our Western medicine can actually be supplemented and, and be improved by using a little bit of what we used to use a long time ago. Okay, and so that's just a really cool thing. Um, other lines, the thieves, which I mentioned. Thieves is one of Young Living's Number one is selling essential oil. Uh, it is great at supporting your immune system, but it can be found in all of our cleaning products. From the cleaner, which I showed you, to our laundry soap, to our foaming hand soap, to um, the hand sanitizer, which, you know, that's a big, a big thing nowadays with the alcohol that's being found in so many of the sanitizers burning everybody. Uh, you can rest assured that the, the thieves hand purifier, the alcohol comes from a plant source. So it is completely fine using it on your littlest of littles, okay? Um, then the healthy and fit, like you need to go ahead and support your, your health. You've got something else going on. What does Young Living offer for you? And this is one of the biggest products that we have, which is Ningxia Red. <coughs> Those of us that are uh, have been using oils for a while, and those of us that have only started using oils but came around for Nature Red, this is one of the best products that you can use. This, in this little sachet, there's two ounces. The Nature Red is high in antioxidants, and the antioxidant is just going to bind to free radicals, so it's basically, basically going to stop oxidative stress. So you're looking at drinking Ningxia Red for eye support, cardiovascular support, sustained energy, gut support. Um, basically, anything that you've got that you need to support, you want to start drinking Ningxia Red. This is, like I said, a sachet. You can just rip the, the, um, the top off and drink it, or it also comes in bottle forms. Um, there's products for weight management. There's all sorts of supplements for absolutely everything, whether you're looking for uh, enzymes, probiotic, vitamin D, omega-3s. Um, just make sure that you know that Young Living has all of these products. If you, have, you suffer from constant pain, there's supplements that are going to help decrease the inflammation in your body and support your body from, <coughs> I'm sorry, I need water. <coughs> support your body from that inflammatory response. So while we have all of these things, <coughs> so sorry, hang on one second. 
All right. Um, I think that's basically it right here. Now let's talk about what we put on our skin. Okay, again, I mentioned our skin is our largest organ. It is very, very important that you pay attention to what you put on your skin. <coughs> um, the average woman in America puts over 150 chemicals on her body every day. Usually 60% of that is before breakfast, okay? And what, what are these chemicals doing? Um, these might be words that you've heard of or never heard of. Endocrine disruptors, skin irritants, respiratory irritants, they're allergens, they disrupt your digestive system, they kill your normal gut bacteria. And unfortunately, they're hidden in our products. <coughs> Greenwashing is very big right now, meaning that people will make a package look really pretty and say that it's all natural and that it's good for you. And unfortunately, there's no regulation and so, they're hiding triclosan, sodium lauryl sulfate, fragrance, phthalates, all of these things that you've maybe heard about. And so it's really important that you trust the source of your products, all right? So what does that look like? Bath and shower products, um, hair products, soap products, basically anything that you buy at the grocery store, you actually can get from Young Living and you can be completely confident that what is in it is labeled on the bottle and you can be confident using it on yourself, on your animals, and on your littles. We have a full line called the seeding, Seedlings line and then we also have a Kids Sense line. And these oils have all been diluted so that you can use them directly on your children's body, okay? Um, general rule for kids is go low and go slow, meaning that you wanna start at the feet and then move up. Um, I didn't mention that if your feet is a great place to put your essential oils on your body. Your, the pores on your feet are larger and there's more of them. And so it absorbs into your system very well just by putting them on the bottom of your feet. All right. Uh, Young Living has a full line of makeup, Savvy Minerals. Um, again, because so many toxic chemicals can be hidden in our makeup, it's important that you know what you're slathering on your body all of the time. It's a light mineral-based makeup with zero compromises for your health and wellness. Um, and then one of our newest products that we offer is CBD. And I'm not sure if any of you guys are CBD fans. I love that. <laughs> um, I'm a huge CBD fan, all right? So CBD just stands for cannabidiol. I'm not going to go into the science and the chemistry behind it, but what you do need to understand is that Young Living's CBD is an isolate. So what they have done is they've removed the cannabidiol from the cannabis sativa plant um, and they've, they've taken it as an isolate. So there's absolutely 0% THC in it, all right? So THC is the psychotropic part of the cannabis sativa plant. It's what's going to elicit all of the hallucinations and all of the effects on your brain and it will show up in your blood if any of you guys have blood tests. So Nature's Ultra, <clears throat> again, is an isolate. And then we've add, they've added essential oils to it, again, to increase the bioavailability. So it's 0.00% THC. It's safe for all things, but it is so darn effective because it has been married to essential oils. So you can use your CBD topically in a salve. We have it as a tincture and then also as a roll-on. There are two different um, concentrations of your CBD that you can offer. And just know that when it mentions like this joint balm has 600 milligrams of CBD, and then there's also a 300 milligram jar of CBD, it means that the entire bottle has that concentration of CBD, not just in one swipe of it, okay? And you are just getting pure cannabidiol which our bodies do produce our own endocannabinoids. So just like because plants, again, beautiful relationship with plants, very, very supportive of homeostasis in your body. Whether you need to be brought down, brought up, whether you need help with uh, pain, I can, uh, discomfort. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure that my words are, are right. Um, you can use it for that. So phenomenal, phenomenal new product. Okay, um, I am not quite sure on here if there is anybody that is not uh, a Young Living member yet, but as you can see, Young Living is a lifestyle, it's a company, 
um, for those of us that are seeking to live healthier and happier lives without having to go to the grocery store and look on every single label to make sure that there's none of those toxins that we talked about because they can be hidden in so many different words. And so it just brings you so much comfort to know that, you know what, if I want my two-year-old to clean the house, I can just give her this and she can go to town. And if I want something that's going to make my water a little bit more tasty, but it's not a soda, I can just grab my essential oil. Uh, if I need to a little pep in my step because I'm just not feeling it today, I can grab my Nature Red and know that there is no nasty, extra heart racing, anything in there. And so that is the, the great thing about Young Living. There are three ways that you can get started with Young Living. We call it the good, better, and best way. The good way is to become a retail customer. Um, and that just means that whoever told you about this class, you can just go on, use their um, number for sponsored enroller and buy retail. But you are paying 24% more if you do it that way. I am, a lot of you guys don't know me. I'm extremely frugal. I don't want to waste my money and I don't want to waste yours. Retail purchasing of Young Living products is one of the most, it's the least cost effective way you can do that. The second way is a wholesale membership, okay? That's where you're gonna receive 24% off on all of your products. Most of us here are wholesale members. And think it's kind of like Costco, except you only purchase your membership one time, all right? And it's, it's a lifetime membership provided that you spend $50 in product per year. You don't rebuy the membership at all. It also allows you to get started with our premium starter kits. And our premium starter kits are gonna save you so much money at first. And, and what that looks like is if you wanna detox your home, you're looking at a Thieves premium starter kit. If you wanna support your body systemically, you're looking at a Ninja Red premium starter kit. If you want to get started with oils because you think these look cool, you're looking at a premium starter kit for oils. And then you know what, if you're interested in CBD, we also have a CBD starter kit. And the best way to get started is to use that starter kit as your first essential rewards order, okay? And this is where um, some people get really confused. An, an essential rewards order is basically a monthly box that you decide what's in it. It's like going to shop at Amazon every month, you decide what's in it and it comes to your door. It saves you an additional you get 10% back for three months and after three months, which literally goes by that quick, you start earning an additional 20% back in points that's banked and you can use that for free product. So that is the best way to get started with Young Living. In addition to that, you get, um, you get, you get oils back at three months, six months, nine months and 12 months. Um, the 12 month oil that you get is called loyalty and this is an oil that you can't purchase You can only get if you're a member of the rewards program In addition to that in September starting in September if you meet a certain level you'll start getting free shipping So it basically is just the best of both worlds I always encourage anybody that wants to get started to give it three months or it takes 90 days for complete cell turnover is that these are natural options. You're not just gonna take one sip of lemon essential oil and your life is not gonna be changed. It's not pixie dust, it's not magic. But over time, as you start to make these changes, if you get a premium starter kit the first month, get the cleaner and maybe the laundry soap the second month. And then your third month, maybe get some foaming hand soap and a couple extra oils. By then you're earning 20% back and you can start to determine, all right, what else in my home, as I run out of my toothpaste, as I run out of my face wash, you start shopping at Young Living, you will end up saving money because these products are so concentrated and you will have so much comfort in what you're using on your family. Okay, um, how do you enroll? You basically, you're gonna go to youngliving.com, click become a member, and at this point, if there's some here that are not members, which I'm not sure you need to get the member number of the person that invited you to this class, okay? You're gonna put that number in there. You're gonna choose your starter kit. You wanna make sure that they are your sponsor and enroller. Choose your starter kit. Um, 
Make sure it's your first essential rewards order and then wait for your box to come in. Because when your box comes in, one of us wants to know about it because we want to go through it with you because you are going to get so much oily goodness that we don't want you to be overwhelmed. Um, I often say try not to get overwhelmed and then usually I give you so much information that I overwhelm you. Uh, someone had asked but about sense of smell, like if you are still going to benefit from essential oils if you can't smell. And I'm thinking, you know, I use this example today. I did a new member orientation class. And if you walk into a house and it smells like the most amazing cookies in the world, I don't know anybody who would um, come in being super mad and smell those amazing cookies and be like, I can't even do it. I can't even, God, there smells so good in here. Like you can't do it. It doesn't work, right? So I'm thinking if it smells, it, that smell changed that person's emotions, right? The sense of smell changed their emotions. It, it can make someone happy. Essential oils do that. So I'm thinking that the biggest thing that it would have an effect on is would that person have the emotional response? Would it make them happy? Would it, would it trigger a, a memory? Like, oh, my grandma used to use that in her cleaning product or whatever. So that's, but that's all I can think of for being, how, or how it would affect someone who couldn't smell. But I still think it would be beneficial for anybody who couldn't smell because they're still breathing. Yeah, absolutely. And let me just kind of address a little bit of that. So when you breathe something in, obviously it goes, it goes in through your sense of smell up into your brain, to the limbic lobe of your brain. Whether you can actually smell the constituents in whatever it is you're smelling, it is still having access to that limbic lobe of your brain. In your essential oils, as I mentioned, there's hundreds of phytoconstituents. It's those phytoconstituents that elicit that response in the brain. In addition, when you breathe it in, you're breathing it in through your lungs, which then go to your bronchioles, and it, it makes the exchange in your body through your blood. That happens whether or not you can smell a product or not. So yes, it definitely elicits either the physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional response, whether or not you can actually smell the product. Does that make sense? Okay. There's a protocol to retrain your body to smell, which helps some. Yeah, I've actually, I have actually heard that as well, um, just because so many of us have actually damaged our sense of smell. Um, through a lot of times chemical products that have gone in and damaged your sense of smell. And so it can be supposedly studies show that it can be uh, regained, but I'm not a doctor, I'm not here to, to do that. But that is something that I've heard can happen. Do we and have it, any um, men's products? Cause my husband's kind of like, half interested and he wants to know if there's anything other than like makeup for women. It's a great question, Leah. We have a full line for men. Uh, it is uh, the Shutran line. We have an oil that is actually just uh, formulated especially for them. Um, it smells fantastic. Women can use it as well, but it's formulated for them because it supports men's health. There's a full line of beard, hair, shaving cream, soaps, um, all with the Shutran line. Um, so full line for men, yes. And there is a lot of men that are very involved with Young Living, and so there's a lot of support for him as well. Yeah. I also wanted to add that my father-in-law actually can't smell, and he hasn't been able to smell for years. However, he can smell peppermint and it, that was a really big deal to him because, you know, I mean, he couldn't smell. I mean, it got, it gets to be a bit depressing. You can't smell because oils or smells trigger emotions. So he was so excited that he could smell peppermint. And those of you guys that haven't smelled Young Living Peppermint yet, you're in for a treat. Any other questions? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm clicking the arrow. There's a lot more people that I haven't even said hi. Wow. All right, Amy, Shannon, anything else to add? 
I would love to add that one of the best ways to get your man addicted to oils is by just putting them on him. And it's one of those things where you have to just go, shh, just be still and just do it. Basically what I mean is use oils like pan away, mix it with some coconut oil. Men can be babies and they'll be like, eh, it's hot. Just mix it with coconut oil, mix it with some olive oil and say, look, I really want to give you a back massage. They're like, okay. Or I really, what I did with the thieves actually. And he fell right asleep within like two minutes. He was out. Oh, that's awesome. That's so awesome. Yeah. I mean, I did, um, I mean, be careful if it's a hot oil, be careful if it's hot oil, make sure you're diluting it heavily. But yeah, I mean, it, if, if your husband is super sensitive to smells, stick with the ones that are familiar, like the Panaway, uh, or, uh, just a little bit of peppermint oil. Um, and then see if he doesn't mind the smell like lavender or peace and calming and valor. Um, and then dilute it so that you can give a massage on his back or bottoms of her feet. And he'll be like just in heaven and then he'll sleep so good. And then next thing you know, he's like, Hey, we, we do that stuff again. We do that stuff. And then also there's a class called Lucy libido and it's basically all kinds of essential oils that are used for male and female body function. And, uh, there's DIY recipes and all kinds of stuff. So basically what Amy's saying is there are oils to be used in the bedroom. And when you use your oils in the bedroom, your man is a believer the very next day. <laughs> Make sure to reach out to the person that invited you if you have additional questions that we haven't answered that you're not comfortable bringing up here because we are all here to help um, and to make sure that your journey is as, that you're as confident in your um, health and wellness journey using Young Living products as possible. Just so you know, you have a community who backs you and a community who is willing to teach and um, give constant education. That's, that's what we love to do. We love to put you in the right places so that you are always uh, able to learn. And there's books, there's YouTube channels, there's videos. I mean, if you want information, it is out there. So don't think that you're just, you know, you ordered your kit and then you're in the dark. So we want you to know that you'll, the education is there. It's, it's, I mean, almost every day of the week we have classes going on. Thanks for joining us guys. Thank y'all so much. Bye.